Right then, to the left hand one was your before. Now, as I said to you, there's a bit of a sort of capital Y kind of setup there. Now, in fact, for me, I just uh, that ball position's probably a back of middle, which is a little bit further back than you want it. Partly because people have been playing in the winter now are so scared of it in the ground behind the ball, they move the ball back in the stance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the further back you move it, the more your hands go here, the more your body goes that way, the more your low point gets back this way. So you actually encourage the problem the more you move the ball back. Because if I threw a ball to you from where you're stood there and I threw it to the right of you, where's your body going to go to catch it? You're not going to move that way, are you? No. So if the ball's back here, you're going to start move. <laughs> you're moving back for that ball. So the more the ball goes back, in vary the more you hit the ground beyond the golf ball. Okay, so this right hand one now is going to sort of showcase this one. Now, obviously, long term, you won't need to do this, yeah. but just get in a situation where you know what correct feels like. And this is why I say two minutes a day in front of a mirror, practicing this so you can get into this position. We'll show you now. Turn the club face, you can see, so again, 11 o'clock roughly. If that's 12 o'clock, you've turned it sort of a few degrees down there. Okay, then when the club face now goes on the ground your grip is normal and the club now is closed now you push your handle forward there that was more leaning with your body there you did with the hands so that's the correct way there see the difference there with your hands moving forward yeah. and that's obviously straighten the club face up and now you're getting into the lower case y getting the sensation your head's behind the ball which it actually isn't but it feels that way and it feels that your hands are way in front of the ball but as we can see on this position here now if we sort of draw a line from your hands straight down they're not that far in front, are they, really? Yeah. It's only because the perception of where your right is looking, oh, my hand's miles in front. Yeah. It's always feeling really often two different things. As I say, don't do it that way by leaning the hips. We're just taking the hand and just moving your hips around. It's like a, a circular motion rather than a sway, OK? Mm -hmm. But from there, you can see now we have changed your grip. Yeah. Without changing your grip the way you said you did it last season, trying to turn your hand over, because... Everyone tries to turn their left hand over, especially when your sort of chest and shoulders. It just gets in the way, doesn't it? It, doesn't feel, it feels awful. The first few shots are pretty horrendous, and you don't try and do it again, okay? Yeah. But at least the way you do it there now, your hands still feel almost the same on the club. Because effectively, they are. You just moved your body to the right. Yeah? yeah. But your hands still remain on the club in the same way as normal. So swing wise here now, okay? It's a little bit of a slide there now, which eventually in time will start disappearing. Because as you come back to golf ball now, your hands are now getting levelish with the ball, which yeah. is a good sign, okay? As that ball starts going, and hopefully, as much as my name will be mud, the next few games of golf, you start seeing a few shots go this way, then it's going to start making sense for you to start swinging the club more on the line you want to go, as opposed to previously seeing a ball curve that way and you trying to swing it to the left of target, yeah? Yeah. Because you're only reacting to what your eyes see. If you see a golf ball curving left to right, I can fix this, okay? I'll just start swinging it left. Off your back foot, over the top, out to in poor contact, thins and fats in shoe. Okay, so that's the long game. In terms of the setup, we talk about the short game, obviously. In fact, go with the long game. The driver... Hang on. There's your driver setup. Yeah. So the hands are in the same position. They're still going to be in line there with that left arm. You might be a little bit more tilted this way, so your hand might be a little bit more round, but minimal, okay? But still do that kind of turning with the club face there. Yeah. With a pitch swing, that foot... Becomes that foot. Yeah. That foot becomes that foot. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. And that opening up of that lower half here just restricts how far you can go back. So you effectively go back full, but full now is less because of what you don't set up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you just take a normal shot. And then by changing your feet position, your low point now is going to be more probably after the ball here, as opposed to if you were playing a shot there and weren't shifting your weight because you don't want to shift your weight for a pitch shot. It goes too far, doesn't it? Yeah. So now you're trying to take power off, which is often cause you to sort of lean back. Your low point now is behind the golf ball. There's your fats and thins. And if yeah. you're hitting the ground back here, the first one, it goes about 10 yards. Then you walk forward in a bit of a huff and you think, oh, I'm missing the ground with this next one. You thin it across the back of the green and go, well, I missed the ground, yeah? And people are good enough to miss the ground, yeah? yeah. Just by how much, yeah? Mm -hmm. All right, buddy? Yep. Does that kind of make sense then, yeah? Yep. So if you can practice that jiggery pokey sort of up down there, turn, twister, and get yourself in that position so you know what this looks like, yeah? yeah. That's what we're aiming for. Mm -hmm. Do that for a minute or two in front, just in front of mirror at home or just film your swing and then send it across if you want to and stuff yeah. just to make sure you're in the right spot and get that to a point where I say, I don't know, fortnight, a couple of weeks, uh, sorry, a month or so, I could throw you a golf club. You could grab and go, yep, yeah, and just go straight in that position. Yeah. You have to go, because if you start on the golf course, guys, like, what's he doing? Come on, David, we've got to get around. And you'd be like, oh, and then if you get a bad shot, you're like, I'm not doing that again. Okay, I'll just go back to my old swing, yeah? Because yeah. that'll be what you'll feel comfortable doing, okay? Yeah. So you've got to get in a position where this is what you just fall into naturally, mm -hmm. as opposed to having to do this all like, 
and twist him. Yeah. Okay, mate? Yeah. Sounds good. Good stuff. Go.